And there you go. That is how you create an NFT for free. And this is how you would go ahead and get started. Next, I have to get ready because I have a date. Stay tuned. <laughs> This is me, my name's Melissa, and this is my son Brennan. I've been a single mom since Brennan was born. We're from a small town in Massachusetts called Tewksbury. In 2017, I decided to move us to fabulous Las Vegas. In this story, you're gonna see the journey of a single mom from introvert to limelight. I can't go out in boots. Well, in slipper boots. Slipper boots. I gotta change my slipper boots. And then we're going. We gotta move that box. I don't like that box there. Here, block the box. Block the box. Hi! Hi. We can't figure our lives out here. Is that in my truck or my camera? What? You see that? Oh, it's me. It's me. Never mind. <laughs> Brennan and I are doing a few things today. We're running some errands. Brennan got a Valentine's Day blanket one year from me on Valentine's Day and he loves his blanket. And so I told him that I would buy him a new Valentine's blanket because that blanket is old now. So we're gonna go and get a new blanket where we got the old one and then we also have to buy a birthday present and I wanna go look at, what is it, a grapevine? Is it a grapevine or a grape like tree? Okay, well I wanna go look at grape grapevine. a grape is. tree, a grapevine, I don't know. But anyways, I love the plant nursery. So we're gonna head there and then I'm gonna go home and do some work and you're gonna wanna stick around for that because it's gonna be really cool talking about NFTs. So, don't roll your eyes at me, I saw that. I saw that. We're on our adventure now, where well, we're gonna be, as soon as I get out of here. Okay, see you later. We're back. I also forgot to mention, Brenna has a sleepover tonight. That's why I'm gonna be working alone at my house at night. And then I have a date. Brenna's gonna be at a sleepover. So we're driving to the sleepover. Okay, now we're gone. Now we're leaving. Bye. We're at Five Below. Have you ever been to Five Below before? It's awesome. Oh, thanks, you got those? We have some things to return, so. We're gonna head into Five Below. We're gonna find some things. You wanna carry them for me? Cool. Into Five Below. I don't know why I find the need to sing while walking into a store, but I do. Ooh, they have lots of nice blankets. Oh my gosh, they already have such cute stuff. I've already seen like a hundred things that I want. Oh, so excited. Is there anything that you want aside from the Valentine's Day blanket? Oh, look at it. There's the marble pour. Look at all the home stuff. I love home stuff. Home stuff. Oh, I like these too. Look at all the plants. Okay, babe. Blankets. So fuzzy. So soft and fuzzy. Oh, I know what I need. Pink. Cute pink. I want pants here. I had really soft cute pants here the last time. I was here and I want more. Please tell me they have the soft cute pants here. Ooh, so cute. So much stuff. Oh, I found the soft pants. I found the soft pants. Yay. Oh, they don't have a lot left. Large. No, I don't want large. I might get large anyways just because they're so soft. Yep, getting large. I only have one pair left. What next? I think I need some perfume. This one or that one? Let's smell them. Mmm, that one smells really good. Not pineapple. No. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It, no. I think this is the winner. I think we'll do this one. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Juicy. It was juicy. Look. No, it's super orange. Just a bunch of orange. Brennan and I are leaving Five Below now because we actually didn't find what we were looking for. There's a few things that I liked, but not what I was actually looking for. I did get those pants and the perfume, but that wasn't what I went for. We're gonna go try another Five Below because there's another one down the street. Mm. This Five Below seems to be a little bit more busy. I feel like maybe this one has what we're looking for. Open this door, Bren. Already. You can already smell it, right? Oh my goodness, what is that amazing smell? What is that, Brennan? It's either Seafood City or Wingstop. Oh my gosh, it's heavenly. Can Wingstop really be making a Wingstop smell is from way all the way over, over there. there. You can't even see it from here. It smells like Wingstop. Mm, I think it smells like Italian food. Oh, I don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah, it smells garlicky. Yeah, what is it? Uh, maybe like sushi. I don't know. It's really good though. I don't, I don't even want to go inside. I want to stand outside and just smell this deliciousness. For candy. Yay. We did way better here than the last one. I'm excited. 
got is Brennan's Valentine's Day blanket. They were giving away free candy for five below. So I got peppermint Ghirardelli. Delish. Brennan got gummy bears. Now we have to go to Best Buy because we couldn't find anything for his friend. So we're going to Best Buy to see if we can find something there. Wish us luck. We've decided a gift card is what we're going to do. Oh, it's only one that perfect. I want that Victoria's Secret one right there. You want to dance with me? Yeah. No, I'm not part of this. Come on, dancing. Come on. You gotta dance in Best Buy. Everybody does it. Everybody. Everybody does it. Thank you. What now? Let's see. We need to go to the nursery and then we'll drop you off at your friends. Maybe with IHOP that smells good. It doesn't smell good out here anymore. It's gone. That glorious smell is gone. It is. Yeah. Baby, stop going in front of me. Go. Thank you. My goodness. My child's etiquette. We almost conquered what we set out to do. I needed, I actually did want perfume, which I got, and I wanted the soft pants, although I got a size large instead of a size medium. And, because they didn't have medium, they only had large. I definitely wanted the USB thing, that was on my list, and I got that. So I feel good, I think we accomplished pretty much everything. We got to get for your friends, get some lunch on the mm -hmm. way. Let's go to the nursery. We are at Star Nursery. The plant place. Yeah, I just call it the plant place. It's not actually called that. Cause like that sounded good, like Star, Star Nursery, Nursery, the, the plant, plant place. place. Yeah, I'll I'll be sure to let them know like, that that's know, what I wanted to call. You know, like how things are like the family store, like yeah. the plant place. Yeah, I just came up with their jingle for them. They can pay me royalties. Alrighty, we are here. We're here at the plant place. Look. So, okay, fix myself. Let's go into the plant place. Potted strawberries. Oh, I used to have my strawberries in pots like that. Oh, those would be good tomatoes. Those would look like they're big, tall ones. Are those cherry tomatoes? I don't know. I love this whole section. It's succulents. Look at how pretty the succulents are. Broken. Oh, look at how perfect that one looks. Yeah, it almost looks fake. It does, right? Doesn't it look so pretty and perfect? Oh, these are my favorite. I love these. The little tiny strings of pearls. What's on the inside of these? I don't know. They're so cute, though. They're only five bucks. I want to get a string of pearls. No, you can't eat those. No, but I mean, I wonder if ever, anyone's ever tried. Look at all the pretty. Look at it. That looks so fake. What oh, does? Doesn't that look so fake? Yeah. It's so pretty. I love succulents. Oh, Cactuses and succulents. Look at this one with the purple flowers on the top. Oh, a kumquat. We don't want kumquats, right? What? what? A kumquat. Oh. Oh, look at how big this pink lemonade treat is. That's a huge pink lemonade tree. Mine's not even that big. We have lemon, lime, orange. We have all of those. We don't have tangerine, but I don't really want a tangerine. Or grapefruit. We don't need tangerine or grapefruit. Oh, there's the fig. Honeysuckle. Oh, it smells so good down here. Pineapple guava? Or if they're out of them already. Can't imagine that's the only thing that they're out of. Oh, dwarf pomegranate. Oh, garlic. <gasps> we should grow garlic. Keep moving. Being carried away here with all these plants. I love them. I love them all. Oh, lavender. It does smell really good. It does in smell here, really good in here. Rosemary. Okay, I need a human. Yeah, I need a human. Well, they're in the, no. They're in there. Yeah, but they're not in here where I need them to be. Let's walk outside and see if. You think it's great? Maybe. It's worth taking a peek. Maybe we found them. Here we go. This is, we've hit the jackpot. Almonds? Oh, almonds. Wow, look at all the buds coming up on them. Look at all the yeah, little almonds. buds. Ooh, Fuji apple. Brand, we could grow an apple tree. Granny Smith apples, Gala apples. Uh, <gasps> <gasps> Babe, honey crisp apples. Those are our favorite. Red delicious, apricot, cherry. Oh, we don't have cherries, babe. Nectarines, peach, pear, pistachios, plums, walnuts, pomegranates. Oh, right here. Found them. So there's Thomas seedless grape, Concord grapes, Cabernet grapes, and Zinfandel grapes. Is or I Cabernet make a grapes how you make Cabernet, Cabernet and and Zinfandel, those are both wines. What the heck is a red flame grape? We'll do some research real quick on the best kind of grapes and then we'll get back to you. This is exciting, I want grapes. Yeah, it is exciting, I like grapes. Okay, so Brennan and I decided, we Googled it, and the Zinfandel and the Cabernet are for winemaking, and although I would love to do that, I don't intend to start winemaking right now. We just wanna eat the grapes. Conquer grapes are purple, red flame grapes are red, and Thompson seedless grapes are green, and we like green grapes. Now we gotta pick which one is the best one over there. The next one. This one. Yeah. This one right here, right? Yep. Is the water thing off of it? Yep. Grab it. Do you need help? No. Nope. I'm yep. so excited. 
I have wanted a grape tree or whatever this is for like four years now. I have orange, lemon, lime, pomegranate. Not grape. They're always sold out of the grape. Always sold out. They're always sold out of the grape. Get your grape early. It's February. I'm getting my grapes early. Last time I went in March and they were gone. Good. There's my grape tree. Okay, let's go see the second. Okay. I feel like I should get two. I shouldn't get two, right? No. No. Sure? Unless you're gonna make wine, which then you should get a wine one, but if you're not, just get one. Oh, I wanna make wine. But not right now. No, okay, all right, all right, next year. Next year. Next year. Next year I'll make wine. Yeah, that one's cute. All right. All right, fine. We're all done with plants? All we're, done with plants. we're totally done? Yep. Oh. You wanna look at the pot? Oh, we're done here already. Should we grow lettuce? This is lettuce, dude, look. What part of we're done do you not get? The part where I'm wondering if we should get one of the, yeah, you know what, let's do it. No, 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 we eat it and then we grow more. I'm not really sure how to grow more, but we grow more. I don't know. Okay, I'm done now. It's two bucks for this lettuce. I love my grape tree. Look at my grape tree. Plants make me so happy. Look at this place. It makes me so happy. So, oh, I shouldn't get lilac. No. Okay. Do we know where we're going? Oh, where'd they get that plant? Where'd you guys get that big tall one? Over there? Thank you so much. Just one more second. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, I do. Let me just go look at how much it is. Let me just look. Remember I was gonna get it the other day at the grocery store? But then I was like, oh, I'll just wait till I go to the plant place. And then, see, I would've forgotten. I would've forgotten. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's a house full of plants. Literally a house full of house plants. Oh my gosh. I love it in here. I love it in here. Fiddle leaf. A fiddle leaf. Do you like this kind right here? Yeah. Or do you like that tall one in the corner that they this had? This one. This one? That one. Okay. We're totally done. Are you sure? Because you're going to say something. Be like, oh, look at that. I totally do. Okay. Happy mama. Happy mama. And that's when you say, that's all I ever aspire for. A happy mama. No? No. No. Okay. I mean, I aspire for that and food. Is it? Right. We're going to do food next. We got plants. We got food. Lettuce and grapes. We can that we make have. a salad. We can, can make a salad. We can make a grape lettuce salad. Yep. With lemons and what else do we have? Our artichokes are growing very slowly. A strawberry. At some point, we'll do a video of what we're growing in our backyard, and we'll tell you all the things that we have. The ultimate starter guide. What did you say? The ultimate what? I said the ultimate starter guide. The ultimate starter guide? Yeah. Of what? Planting? Yep. Of eat, of planting food that you're gonna eat. Yeah, I like it. We decided on chicken nuggets and mozzarella sticks. This is our bad meal for the week. Here we are, running sleepover. Ready for your sleepover, boo? Yeah. Good, say bye to Brennan. This has kind of been my first experience of not having my child with me 24 seven, because he's always with me 24 seven. He just started getting friends that he hangs out with without me, or goes over their house, or has sleepovers. So this has been my first year-ish, six months, of not being with him constantly every second. So I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and do some work and we're gonna talk about NFTs. So I will see you when I get home. Hi, I'm home. So cute. Here's the new home of my grape tree. Doesn't look like much now. That's my pomegranate tree, but it's still winter time. Here's my indoor plant. I got this and this and this and pants and perfume. Ooh, and sunglasses. Where are you? Where are you? Hi. I'm gonna start doing my work and show you all about what I'm gonna do with NFTs. However, I just picked up this file cabinet right here. It's real cute. It's a great addition to my office. However, it's ugly. It's very ugly, this color. I thought about painting it, but that would require me sanding it and all that jazz. What I thought was that I would put sticky paper on it. I'm gonna do that real quick. We'll see how it turns out, and then we'll get rocking on the computer, okay? I am gonna jam out to some music while I do this. In case you see my mouth moving, but I'm not talking, I'm turning down the sound, turning up the music, and I'm gonna redo this thing real quick. Mm -hmm. 
died at the end but I'm done now finished product so much better than before I actually have no idea how long that took me but it was not long at all because I hate projects that take me forever if you're thinking about doing something like that go ahead and do it Hey, it's been a long day. I'm finally here at my desk and I'm ready to talk about NFTs. Before I switch you around and have you look at the computer, let's talk about what NFTs are. You might already know what NFT stands for, non-fungible token. And what that means is that if you were to switch it out for something else, it's totally different. Meaning you could take a $10 bill and two $5 bills and exchange them and it's the exact same value. But if you exchanged a baseball card, one that's worth a lot with one that's not worth a lot, you're still exchanging two baseball cards, but one is valued higher than the other one. So it's not the same. So that's basically what it means is that there's nothing that you can exchange that's of the same value. It's something that's very one of a kind, if you will. There could be one of a collection. So you could have a collection of 40 of them and every one is a little bit different, but that one is its own standalone. There'll never be another like it but it's part of that collection or you can just have one period and that's it there's never going to be another one just like it so it works really well for artwork an example with artwork would be if picasso painted a painting and then people replicated it people could buy the replicated versions and hang it in their house and look at it and say oh that's picasso's painting but it's never going to be the original so the person that owns the original is always going to own something of more value than the ones that are duplicated and replicas so it works really well for digital artwork. So if you're an artist, you can create a piece of artwork and even though somebody could duplicate it online, they could copy it, they could save it to their computer, they could take a screenshot of it. It doesn't change the fact that the original one that you made that somebody owns or that you own is the only original valuable one. So you can do that for art, you can do it for music, you can do it for videos. What I have been starting to do is doing it for business. I'm gonna turn you around now. I'm gonna show you exactly what I have been doing and how, which is the really important part. My cat is distracting. He's gonna be obnoxious. No, nope, no, nope, we're not playing right now. No, nope, we're not playing. I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna talk about how I've been using it for business and more importantly, how you can get your own NFT minted. Minted means launched or uh, for sale or out there into the universe. How you can mint yours for free. If you were to create an NFT and you wanna put it on the market, hold on. I have to attend to this cat. Do you wanna be in the video? I, I understand that, I understand that. He wants to be in the video. Sorry. If you wanted to make an NFT and then put it out onto the market to sell it or to have people bid on it, then you would have to mint it. In order to do that, you have to pay what's called a gas fee. A gas fee is basically the energy that it takes to run the servers and the blockchain and all of the technology behind it. And so the gas fees can be pretty high. They can be hundreds of dollars. So if you wanted to make an NFT and put it out on the Ethereum blockchain, which is what NFTs use, then you would have to pay a pretty high gas fee. So you'd probably have to price your NFT at hundreds of dollars, even if it was just something basic. You'd have to start it at hundreds of dollars because it's gonna cost you hundreds of dollars to add it to the blockchain. I, on the other hand, don't use Ethereum. I watched some videos, I studied up on some people that were doing it. OpenSea has an option. OpenSea is the market that a lot of people put their NFTs on. OpenSea has an option to use a different blockchain, a side blockchain from Ethereum, which is called Polygon. And Polygon allows you to mint for free. I've heard that there are some downsides to that. It's not as secure, people don't use it as much, so it's not widely already in somebody's wallet. What that means is that they don't already 
already own Polygon in their wallet. So think about, we'll just use like the regular terminology. If somebody had a wallet and then they had different bills in it, they had a $5 bill or a $10 bill. Let's say that Ethereum is one kind of bill and then Polygon is another kind of bill. If I were looking for a $10 bill and that's all that I wanted, but you only had a $1 bill, I don't want to use that $1 bill. I only want the 10. That's what Ethereum is. Ethereum is widely used, whereas Polygon is not. In which case, if you're selling your NFT using Polygon, maybe not as many people are going to want to try to buy it because they don't have Polygon. And it costs them money to convert their Ethereum into Polygon. So it's going to cost them more than what you're listing your NFT for. If this sounds like a lot of information, it is. I consumed a lot of videos and studying before I got to the point that I'm at now. I'm by no means an expert, but I do know the basics of how it works. This section of this video is going to be to show you how to launch your NFT for free. So if that is as far as you wanna go, that's as far as I'm gonna take you right now, and then we can dive deeper at another time. Okay. Here we go. I told you that I would show you what kind of NFTs I'm making. So let's skip over my videos real quick and let's go down to my NFT shop. I'm currently doing four types of NFT. Famous mom moments, which are clips of my videos that are gonna be sold as NFTs. Somebody can purchase individual moments of the show. They will be the owner of that specific moment. They can buy it and resell it like digital playing cards. It's like owning a piece of your favorite movie or TV show. Hopefully someday everybody's favorite TV show will be famous mom. The next is business brands. Over the years, I've created businesses for business owners. I own a web design and development company. I have also, over the past 15 years, been building my own business entities. I have a lot of different businesses that I've created. They have logos, they have brands, they have everything. Most of them are profitable. I will be selling the businesses as NFTs. The perk of doing it that way, instead of just selling the business off and giving it away, for the person that buys the business, an NFT is permanently on the blockchain. It gets a serial number. If you went to an auction and you bought a piece of art, that is gonna be documented. You're gonna get a serial number. Everybody's gonna know who the owner is of that specific piece. That's what will happen with this business that I'm selling is that whoever buys them, they will be the official owner and it will be onto the blockchain with a, essentially a serial number so that everybody knows that this business is theirs, it cannot be taken from them, and it's documented. Next one is domain names. These are domain names that I've owned for years that are very prestigious that I've been holding onto. Now I'm gonna list them as NFTs. In addition to that, there's also NFT specific domain name instead of .com, .nft. Those ones are owned forever. Whereas a regular domain, you have to renew it. An NFT domain is yours forever. Lastly is the photography collection. That is photos that I have taken over the years. Now with the technology of NFTs, artists can actually sell their work digitally without it being replicated. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do in order to get one live for free. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna have a wallet to purchase the crypto that you're gonna need to buy and sell. So there's a lot of different ones out there. From my research, I saw that the easiest one, I think, to set up is Coinbase. I've already done all this, but I'm just gonna show you the website so you can go to them. You would create a Coinbase account, and then once you have the account, that's where you can buy and sell your different cryptocurrencies. Then you would wanna create a wallet. Wallet is where you store the cryptocurrency. You buy it in one place and you store it in a different place. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go, this is just the one that I use, there's lots of them. You wanna go to OpenSea, OpenSea.io. Create an account and then log in. I'm already logged in here. Now we click create. You want to have an image, which is obviously the NFT. I already have one that I created. Then we give it a name. You can add an external link to it. You put it in the description. Now, this is where you would put in which collection that it goes to. So if you didn't already have a collection, you can create a collection. I don't want to put it in either one of these collections. I want to create a new collection. To create a new collection, you come over here and you go, I'm just going to open it in a new tab. You go to collections, create a new collection. Start with the logo image. It'll tell you what size to make it, and then the featured image, and the banner image. And now we wanna name it the collection, so not the actual piece. And these can be different. These, I just made it the same just for this example. Now you wanna name the collection. I'm gonna call this Famous Pets. 
Then you want to give it a URL. The URL is really important because there can only be one URL in all of OpenSea for whatever it is that you name. This is really important. Whatever you decide this is going to be, it's going to be yours for your collection. And it's searchable on search engines, so you want to pick a good one. I'm going to call this Famous Pets. So now nobody can take collection slash famous pets. So you give it a description, choose a category. These would be collectibles. Down here is gonna be the creator earnings. This is important. Anytime your NFT sells, if you put it up there and it sells, if somebody were to sell that NFT, you would get a percentage, whatever percentage that you choose here when it's sold so that artists can constantly be credited for the work that they did. I'm gonna put 10% and then you would put a payout wallet, you would choose your blockchain. So this is the key. If you choose Ethereum, you are gonna get charged gas fees. It will not be free to post your NFTs if you choose Ethereum. If you choose Polygon, a fast gas-free blockchain experience that works with Ethereum. If you choose Polygon, anything that you put in this collection would have to be purchased with Polygon. These tokens can be used to buy and sell your items. So somebody would have to have Polygon. If they don't, if they only have Ethereum, they would have to convert their Ethereum into Polygon, which again costs them money, gas fees to do that. But if they have Polygon, they can buy your item. Hit create. That created the collection. I wanna go back to this. Now I select the collection, choose that one. The one that you wanna pay attention to is this unlockable content. You can offer people things in addition to the actual NFT. You can offer memberships, you can offer perks, access to your private coaching or your private video trainings. Or now, once again, we don't wanna choose Ethereum unless you wanna pay a gas fee. Maybe you do, maybe you wanna sell an Ethereum. For purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna pick Polygon because we're not gonna pay. We wanna hit create. This did not put it for sale. This just created it. You created Famous Pink Kitty. Great, we wanna put it up for sale. This went into our collection. It's been minted, but it's not for sale. Hit sell. We choose a price. It goes up for auction. You can choose the dates that you want to auction it for. And now we're gonna complete the listing. I got a sign to show that I do in fact wanna do this. And there we go, your NFT is listed. There's the current price on Polygon. And now if I go to my collection, I see Famous Pet. I go in here, I see that my famous pet is listed. And there you go. That is how you create an NFT for free. I will be doing more videos like this. So if you liked this, keep watching. Let me know you liked it. Next, I have to get ready because I have a date. Stay tuned. I know I say that a lot, but I've done a lot today. My new outfit. Well, I didn't buy a new outfit, but I'm going to put on a new outfit. <laughs> my new outfit is coming soon. I'm going down downtown Las Vegas tonight. So it should be fun. I do not know what to do without my boy. <sighs> it's very strange being here without him. I got out here and I was like, who am I going to make dinner for? Good thing I pre-planned this. I saved dinner for myself from last night so that I wouldn't have to cook just for myself. So I hope my boy is having a good time at his sleepover. I'm going to eat my dinner and then get ready for my date. <laughs> No. All right, so help me. It's recording. Okay. You want Zoom or you want Flash? Zoom and Flash. Okay, Zoom recording. is here. Oh, we don't want to.